What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, this is John. If you like what's going on, make sure you hit that sub button. Plenty of content coming up for you. Today, we're gonna to be doing an overview of my budget audio overhead console install. Let's get into it. All right, guys, first and foremost, what did we have to purchase here? First off, we've got the Amazon special overhead console. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, we've got our Rockford Fosgate MO65B, 65 for six and a half inches and B for black. If you want the white, it'll be a W right there. Now, if you're not running an amp, you just want to run a head unit and some speakers, get you some good tunes. This is actually a dang good setup here. We've got 65 uh, continuous, 250 watt peak, and 90 and a half decibels. So that's plenty in this machine. And we've got the Bose Boss, I don't know how you pronounce that, MGV 520B. Four channel output, 60 watts. Uh, man, lots, lots of features on this guy here. You can, uh, got a camera hookup. We've got a, an actual, like a toggle switch here. So you can run an, an accessory, like let's say a dome light, um, exterior lights, things like that. So you can run that off of this unit as well. Bluetooth, of course, FM radio, all the work. So uh, you get cheaper units, you can get more expensive units, and it also has an IPX6 rating. So very great here. Now, as far as tools, yeah, you'll just need some basic hand tools, guys. Uh, got a, what is this thing? Oh, it's a jigsaw. Duh. Jigsaw, guys. Got to cut some holes. Uh, depend on the unit. Um, this one here actually has a round insert here. So I got my hole saw. If you got a bigger unit, you're going to cut a bigger hole with your jigsaw. So let's get up into the unit here. And let's pop into this bad boy. Show you what's going on. Now, here is the actual finished product. Boom. Very nice. Let's turn this key on and show you what we're working with. Now, before we get into it, the actual, the most important thing you'll need, guys, is uh, running your, wire, your power wires down. Uh, for me, I actually run, I run my ground wire up here, and I run my hot wires. Am I zoomed in? Just a little bit. My, my hot wires, I run down inside my roll cage. A lot of guys run up here. I got the base model. It was very easy for me just to get down here. I got a nice hot, hot connection down there. A lot of guys will tell you to run a washer and a fishing line and put a nut on it. And man, don't even waste your time. It, 20 minutes, I swear, I wasted of my life. I cannot get back. Just go out. Get yourself some, some mechanic wire, guys. And this is like a buck at Harbor Freight. You go to Wally World, whatever. Nice, stiff wire. This is what you're going to do. Uh, right up in, you can't see it because it's installed, but uh, up in here, up in here, right up here, there'll be a slot. A slot like this right here, okay? This is what you want to do. Take this front corner, this front corner piece off right here. Uh, there's two push rivets here, and then there's one screw right here, and this whole thing pops off. And then there are two holes at the bottom of your cage. Take your mechanics wire, push it through. And you'll just push it straight up. And then when you see it in the hole, that's why you want a hoop on it, guys. So with that hoop, actually use a pair of tweezers. Use a pair of tweezers, a little hook tool, a uh, little pocket screwdriver, hemostats, very small needle nose. Pull that wire out, mechanics wire out. And then once you have it out up here, tie your, tie your hot wires to it, tape it. Tape it real good, fold it over, tape it. And make sure it's not too big because it's got to get through that hole back at the bottom and then when you want to run it down. So that is by far the hardest. Now the instructions, being an Amazon special, instructions kind of sucked. There was a cage here you had to assemble and put on. Uh, the only issue I had with it, 
There was a cross support bar here that I, I, I actually had to take off because the particular windshield that I got has a this piece right here and it was in the way. So I had to leave it off. No issues with that, it's solid. Uh, the only, uh, there was two other issues I had. Uh, it came with eight washers, guys. So eight washers and I had no idea where they went. Uh, I, I put them on the top side so you could either take the roof off. Uh, for me, I just took the, the three bolts off up here and was able to push it up far enough to mount my brackets. And then actually this middle roof mount, that's where I actually ran my ground wire. So if you guys ever done audio and anything about audio, and if you don't, the shorter your ground wire is, the better off your audio system is going to be. Um, outside of that, uh, so the washers, I'm sorry, back to the washers. So as you can see here, these are little button head bolts, screws, whatever you want to call them, cap head screws. So after I got everything together, I started putting my cap bolts in here, here, and I'm like, oh crap, I need washers. And then I'm like, oh shit, I put my washers up here. So all I had laying around that would work, I had a, a assortment of these crush washers. So now it looks like I've got pennies as washers, guys, but it's good. Um, and uh, I need to find, leave a link down below if you guys know of a, a mirror that's going to fit right here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get a nice rear view mirror on there. So those were the big hassles. Um, got everything installed. Here's a little overview of the actual unit, guys. Uh, this is everything we've got. Audio, video input. Like I said, it's got four channels right now. We've got two channels hooked up. It's got amp outputs. Um, let's take you to... Let's see, uh, equalizers. Man, it's got six equalizers, loud, on and off. You can control your sub. And then, come back. Oh, enter. And then actually, you can actually do a manual equalizer as well. So that's pretty cool. And oh, AM, FM radio, or FM radio. And then that's where we connect to our Bluetooth phone, Pandora. So very nice setup there, man. So guys, can't beat it, man. I think uh, I went with a nicer speaker. I went with the nicer unit. So this whole setup sent me back about maybe four, four fifty. I'll leave link uh, down below to everything you see here. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention is uh, you got four spots for toggle switches for accessories. So. It'll come with your holes open and it does not come with these. So you have to buy these separate. Um, definitely have to buy those separate. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Uh, the holes. This thing scratches up pretty good. I actually left some divots here. So when you when you run your jigsaw saw through here, cut it through the backside. That way you won't scratch up things here in the front. And then, you know, as far as installing the speakers, uh, we installed those last that allowed us to get these side brackets being that this is an Amazon special uh, the metal the metal bracket line lined up great I had no issues getting that bolted up but these two side brackets that bolted up on both sides I kind of had to work those a little bit to get the bolt holes to line up well they're going really good so that's what we've got man like down below if you dig it thumbs down if you don't dig it and as always if you want to see more hit that sub button guys so Appreciate you watching.